Meredith Bell is fighting for her life, her former life. Okay, what's next? The one where she taught kindergarten and was a busy mother of five. The life she had before she injured her brain. Seven minus two. Five. Last winter, Meredith slipped on some ice in the parking lot of the school where she teaches. She fell and hit her head. Her life changed in an instant. I was not able to process what people were telling me. Um, I was talking in, in circles to people and sounding what they all said is you sound drunk. What's wrong with you? What was wrong was the same fate experienced by an estimated 10,000 Mainers every year. Meredith's fall had resulted in a traumatic injury to her brain. Experts say it doesn't take much of a jolt to cause significant damage. What happens is this, your brain, which is this consistency of jello, goes like and kind of has a little shock wave that goes through it. So that shock wave disrupts the function of the neurons and creates shearing or tearing of those neurons in the brain. Meredith's injured brain could simply no longer do its job when it came to balance, memory, language skills, vision. I physically could not get the muscles of my eyes to move my eyes at all. She couldn't move her eyes to look down, so even walking around the house wasn't safe. Meredith's mother says if two people were standing side by side, Meredith could see only one of them. I had to say to people, don't be offended. Unless you speak, she doesn't see you. Her vision was so limited. Okay, so where does this stuff go, love bug? Noise and confusion brought on intense headaches and nausea. And because of that, Meredith could barely tolerate being around her children. Her brain simply couldn't cope. Where are your boots? I think they're upstairs. No, you took Family members say Meredith had always been the glue that held them together. Suddenly, that person was gone. She couldn't really like, do things that she used to be able to do, so we kind of have to do them for her. She didn't act like herself. She didn't look herself. I was just really worried. Because I'm like, she's never acted this way. What's going on? How can we fix this? When is it going to get better? Better. It started getting better the minute Meredith began therapy at Goodwill Neuro Rehab Services in Portland. In physical, occupational, and speech therapy, she is literally rewiring her brain. This exercise, clapping to the beat of a metronome, uses rhythm and timing to improve her attention and coordination skills. Here, she's working on memory and concentration. Your task is to try to remember the animals that you see in the center of the screen. One more. One more. Here we go. And out. With physical therapist Lydia Cody, she's rebuilding strength and balance. Meredith says the recovery process feels agonizingly slow. I'm constantly reminded by everybody that in life, we always say to, to ourselves, if you just push through, you can, you, you, know, you can do anything. This is one injury that they tell you that, no. Do you need a break for a second? Yeah, let me okay. just get We are constantly talking about how pushing through is the wrong paradigm. Uh, what you want to do is you want to push until you start to have symptoms, then you back up. And then you push until you have symptoms, and then you back up and let your brain rest. Hold on. I'm all right. <laughs> Just my brain doesn't yep. want to go up. Meredith Bell has made tremendous progress in the year since her injury, but there's still work to do. She has trouble concentrating and tires easily. She can't drive or read. Social situations are a challenge. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. okay. People speak too fast. Um, my head just shuts off. I can't, I can't keep up with that. It's a huge adjustment for those who love her. You know, that one moment in history, it now has such a prolonged impact on, on her life, our children's life. And she's trying to get her life back in order, trying to see if, if, she, if she can piece it back the way it was, and, and we're coming to the realization that she can't. One of the things that they stress, whether you go to a conference or whether you're at Goodwill or is that you'll never be the person you were. You have to kind of give that up. Her son Parker says that's okay. I'm not expecting her to go back to the old mom. The new one's fine. I just want us to be a family again. 
Meredith wants that, too. I like to say it's my midlife crisis. I get to figure out what I want to do from here on out and, you know, what I, who I want to be. And because those things, some things aren't going to be achievable, and, and I have to take a different road. Ten minus six. One small Ten, step four. at a time. It's all right. It's not great. It's <laughs> not great. It's mezza mezza. All right. It's okay. But before I couldn't even go toe to toe.